lots of stuff. If you're like watching me being like, oh my God, you can't put a vacuum back together. No, I can't. The battery is spent on this, but we'll get all that. I just saw Jeannie on Peacock. It was actually a lot cuter than I thought it was gonna be. Do you want your Yogi pot? Oh. I am not getting in a straight line at all. <laughs> Hello you guys, happy December 1st. We are, I guess for those people who lag, we are all officially now in the Christmas season, which makes me so happy. And today it's kind of like Christmas day almost. I ordered from TikTok shop for the very first time. I've always seen so many like ads and stuff for TikTok shop because I'm always on there, but I've never actually ordered until recently. And I put in a pretty big order. I actually used a couple different coupons because I had like the first time buyer coupon and then also the Black Friday one. So I got a lot of stuff and I got a lot of good stuff. So we're gonna do a little first time order TikTok shop unboxing. I just got the last package in that I've been waiting on and it's definitely a good one, but let's go ahead and dig into this. So this is the first order that came in and technically it was my second order. I had an issue with the very, very first order that I tried to put in with TikTok shop. The entire thing actually got canceled and truthfully, I have not had the greatest experience with TikTok shop. This order was fine. And then this one that got delivered today, you guys saw me pick it up outside. That one was fine. But like I said, my very first order that I attempted got canceled and that order Order had like six or seven things in it so I was really really bummed about that some of them I actually reordered in this and then on the second order that I placed which is this one one of the items the seller like messaged me and was like hey RT messed up with logistics can you cancel your order and reorder it and I was just like that's so odd like if it's a mess up on your end for logistics why do you need me to cancel the order and redo it why can't you just like send me the product. So I just canceled my order altogether with them because they were also not super helpful because I had done that with one of the coupons that I had and I was like, are you guys gonna honor that if I reorder? And they're all like, uh, we'll have to see. We're not entirely sure. So I was like, "Never mind. I, I don't wanna bother. Anyways, this is the first order and it's clearly packed very, very tight. This came in a couple of days ago. You guys might've seen it in the background of a couple of videos, but I was waiting for like the last piece to come in. Oh my gosh, this is wrapped so thoroughly. I appreciate that. I'm not mad. I'm just like, th there's a lot of layers to cut through. At least, you know, they made sure that I got my orders in one piece. We'll give them that. But everything on TikTok shop was like really, really affordable. So I'm like, a little curious about like the quality of everything or some things are just like super hyped and really like not worth it so we'll go through all of this stuff and i'll give you guys my first impressions and everything i got a couple of like viral big things and those are the ones i'm the most curious about so this is one of them but we'll unbox the smaller pieces first wow okay okay Lots of stuff. First one, this little tiny one. I don't even remember what was in this order. Oh, okay, this is like a little hat hook. I was thinking I'd put it up inside of our closet because my hats are just all over the place right now. They don't have a photo of the hat hanging on it, but I don't know how well you guys can see it. It's just like a little hook, it sticks straight up. So you put on the wall like this, and I think, yeah, this can go taller. Okay, yeah, it can go way taller. So you put it on the wall, like this, like so, it's attached to the wall, and then you can just hang your hats on here. Right now my hats are kind of all over the place. I love wearing baseball caps, but I just like, I'm so terrible at storing them. So I think that this is gonna be a lot more efficient. I just need to figure out how to mount it. The instructions are not in English. Oh, it comes with a mount. Okay, and the mount is like sticky. Oh, got it, okay, and then I slide this onto it. So I have to stick this onto the wall. Then I also, oh yes, I got a new microfiber towel and I'll use this tonight because today is hair wash day. Holy crap, this is huge. Oh, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was like a turban, but I guess I have to wrap my hair in it like normal, but oh my God, this is so soft. But what I liked about this is that it has like a loop in the back to like loop everything into instead of like the little button hook. So I really liked this. And we'll give it a try. Like I said, it's hair wash day. So we're gonna put her to the test today. Then I got a couple of sweaters. I totally forgot I ordered this one. I remembered I ordered the sweatshirt, but I forgot about this sweater. 
I don't think I'm going to try it on right this second, but you guys will probably see me wear it for Vlogmas. I got this white sweater with blue stripes. It's got a v-neck. I think I want a size up. Oh, it's one size. So I guess this can be a little bit more fitted than I wanted. I would have wanted it a little bit wider on the neck so it like hangs off of one shoulder, but actually... No, it might be able to. And then this is a Christmas sweater. <laughs> and this was like one of the items that got canceled in my first order and I reordered it and it was fine. I should have figured, I mean, this thing was like seven bucks. So I knew I wasn't going to get like a really good screen print. And it is a very, very cheap screen print. So this will probably last me through this Christmas season. But again, it was seven bucks. So it's fine. I got the XL. So it's super large and super oversized. But I like the color. And this is for like, what is that? Christmas Vacation. I'm not a big fan of the vacation movies. I'm so sorry. I know that like a lot of people really love them. Trevor really loves them, but I've never found them that entertaining. So it's like kind of ironic that I really want this sweater because it's like the Griswold family Christmas sweater, but whatever. <laughs> I just liked the design and then this was the big item in this order. Oh gosh I don't know if you guys have been seeing it, but the little mini steppers have been trending so much on TikTok So I ordered one and I was really upset when that first order got canceled because I got my stepper for like 19 bucks and then they were no longer selling it at the price when I reordered so this one was a little bit more I think it came out to like 40 but it's still like not a bad price for it, but with winter coming I just know I'm not gonna want to go to the gym like I'm gonna be cold so if I have something in here that I ooh, and this already assembled I was scared I'd have to do some assembly oh wow this is heavy why did this not feel this heavy in the box oh my god I have to, I don't have to do anything wow what a deal oh my god if I don't have to like actually venture out I'm gonna be more likely to try to get some exercise in. I mean, obviously for Pilates, which I went to today, I will be more motivated to go because I'm paying for those classes and, oh my God, I'm getting stuff everywhere, but this will solve that in a second. But yeah, I'll be more motivated to go to Pilates because I'm paying for the classes. I have to like schedule it. I can't cancel things like that. So that's fine. But to get like, just like some extra cardio in and also this has resistance bands on it so I can get a little bit of strength training in at least enough to maintain. That'll be absolutely wonderful. It comes with, okay, I think the only thing I have to assemble is the resistance knob, but it comes with some extra oil and I guess like a couple little tools and then the knob. So I'm gonna assemble this. And I guess this is how I control the resistance. I don't know how well you guys are able to see any of that. Oh, and then the resistance bands, they were not attached to that. So you have the option to put the resistance bands on, which I wanna do. I'm so sorry, today's class almost killed me. She did like a finisher, but I don't know if you guys know what like a ladder finisher is. It's like they give you at least a couple of different moves to do. She did squats and then in and outs. And basically you go 10 reps of each, then down to nine reps of each, eight, seven, six, all the way down. And oh my God, we did that at the end of class and I thought I was gonna die. I didn't think I was gonna make it. That was really, really fucking difficult. Wow, this is so compact. Truthfully, I got this because I've always wanted a walking pad, but we have like nowhere to store a walking pad and this is just so much more compact. And at least with the stepper, it's gonna give me a little bit more firming than the walking pad would. Okay, so this shows your calorie. You can show how many steps you've taken. Oh, there's different modes. It's a smooth ground, but the reason why I got this was because I saw a lot of people putting it on carpet and it was fine because we're mainly carpet in here. Oh, it even says if you put it on hard ground, put a blanket under it. Okay. Well, let's try this out. I don't want to put my shoes on, so we're gonna try this out. Bare feet and all. Go. Oh. Okay. Oh, the resistance is kind of high. Hi, buddy. And then, if I want, all right. She's exercising. Mom's getting fit. Leo is so confused by this thing. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Okay, I can't do this. I just, that finisher at Pilates took it all out of me, but that's lovely. How do I turn it off? Also, like, do I need batteries to charge this? Like what? I don't know what to do. Then the last item that I got from TikTok shop, I'm really, really excited about this one. I would like to use it tonight, but I actually may need Trevor's help to set this up, but I got the Homeka, Homeka cordless vacuum. I've always wanted a cordless vacuum like so bad. We've almost ordered one so many times on Amazon. We'd see them go on sale for like 80 to 100 bucks and we'd always like think about it. But I think I got this for like 50 bucks on TikTok shop. It's like 55 or something like that. It was not a lot. So I was like, screw it. We're going to get it. Ooh. So 
It comes with a few different parts. You're going to try to go after this, aren't you? Huh? You're okay. Don't be scared. Okay, so this is the main part. I guess where everything gets sucked up into. That's, I guess, what I empty. Oh, okay. There we go. That's really easy. I like that. And then it has, like, a little, I guess, supposed to change the filter out every once in a while. So I need to figure out where to order these. I'm sure from Homika directly. Also, I'm not the vacuumer in our house. When I vacuum, I run our Yeedy. <laughs> Oh gosh, if you're like watching me being like, oh my gosh, you can't put a vacuum back together. No, I can't. How did I even, oh my God, what did I do? I do like the color on this though. Okay, I really want to figure out how to put this back together. Oh, okay, so this is to empty it. <laughs> I did not need it. So that was to change the filter. Okay, she did it. <laughs> Anyways, this is the main part of it. And then it comes with all the attachments and stuff like so a little filter where does this go should i have inserted this the fresh garland was amazing but there's like little pieces of garland all over the house now that's why i'm like really excited for this but <laughs> i think i need trevor <laughs> in order to get this set up and actually try it and then here's the bottom of it that's what it looks like and then we got the black and like champagne color and then okay so i need to assemble this together oh gosh with all of the little pieces but i like the fact that it can come off and then like i could vacuum inside the couch and stuff and then i guess this is what you plug it in with okay i'm gonna read the instructions and see if i can put this together because i really really want to try this out so i'll check back in with you guys in i would say a couple of minutes but considering the damage I did just by unpacking it. It's probably gonna be nightfall by the time I check back in with you guys. Update, I put it together for the regular vacuum mode. It's already got Leo's hair all up in it too. Leo, you are ever, oh my God, look at him. Look at this precious angel in his bed with his T-Rex. Hi, buddy. Anyways, so I've got this assembled. I like the regular and then I guess if I wanna do like the couch or something, this is the attachment or if I wanna do like in the corners or something. This is a good attachment for it. I'm gonna figure out how to do the charging part so I can charge it. Then I have to install this HEPA filter is what it's called. It says clockwise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm there we go. Cool. All right, she's ready except for she needs to be charged. Actually, does it have a charge? I wonder if it does. Hi, buddy. I know. It's a vacuum. Are you gonna go crazy? Are you gonna try to attack it? You pop all the pieces in here before I do shit. Might as well put all the pieces for my little stepper in there as well. I'm so confused on how I turn this on. Maybe it isn't charged? I think I do need to charge it. There's so much styrofoam on the ground. That's gonna be a great first test with this. So anyways, I'm gonna figure out how to plug it in to charge. We'll do a little demo once it's got a little bit of battery. I just realized I need to install the battery. I, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Battery's on. Is there... Oh, oh. Oh my god, this is so much easier than our giant-ass vacuum. I'm gonna tell Trevor to get rid of the other one. Our other vacuum that's not our robot vacuum is too big to go in our bedroom. Oh my god. Okay, floor is... Clean. Oh, oh, that's a higher... And one of the complaints I see on this vacuum is that the battery just doesn't last very long, but honestly, our place isn't very big. There's not a ton of carpet, so I think that will be fine. You're okay. Good job, buddy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Oh my God, I love it. I am gonna vacuum so much stuff tonight. Trevor's gonna wonder who the hell took over his wife's body.
You guys, I just did the living room up until the hallway. Look at how much it all right picked up. I was like wondering, I'm like, is this doing anything? And holy crap, so much. Also, people were complaining about the battery, but once again, I do have a small place. So I, I will say I probably don't need a ton of time as far as battery goes. It took me like maybe five minutes if that to vacuum most of this place i am going to do the couch next but the charge on this was about like 60 percent when i plugged it in and it still has like 35 percent battery left so i don't think it's too bad especially if you got a smaller place i think if you have like a bigger place i can definitely see how the battery life would be a problem with that oh my god it goes taller <gasps> okay anyways i need to dismount this how do i do that yeah there we go dismounting her and then on for the reading i guess this is the attachment that is meant for couches and stuff so we're gonna do the couch right now is this on all the way let's go do the couch for the actual couch i would just chom chom it so what i'm mainly doing is i want to get everything off and then vacuum underneath all the cushions we've had this couch for about a year now and uh, it's actually not too bad in here but i mean since getting leo since he is a double coat there's definitely more hair than back in the day when it was just smart so taking out the bigger pieces. It does pick up a lot. And yes, I know that it's probably better if I would just take all the cushions off, but I'm lazy and I'm gonna do this one section at a time. spent on this but we'll get all that this is from the couch all of the carpet in here like I said up until the hallway I probably could have gone the hallway too this still has like three percent left and the hallway would take maybe 30 seconds to vacuum but all of Leo's toys are out and I just do not feel like putting all that away sorry I was like super backlit but I think there's nothing I can do about it actually but the suction is beyond what I expected especially considering that I got this for like 50 bucks I'm very very impressed by it so I'm gonna empty it out and then I need to figure out how to charge it but yeah all of this from like I said most of of our carpet here this is also from the couch and then i actually also did the foyer which is hardwood and it works on the hardwood and then i also did some of our stairs as well so it got a good amount and i'm very very happy with it just gonna empty it into the bag here i guess i just release oh yeah okay i feel like i should have a mask on or something wow that was so much that it got holy crap the Yeedy, I love our Yeedy. I think it's great for like, just like regular maintenance and stuff, but the Yeedy could never. Okay, I can't take that out. Cool, you can take this out and I clean it. Awesome. It's no longer Black Friday, obviously, but I think that this would be like a great gift for someone. Mom, dad, sister, or if you have like friends who just moved into a house or something and they don't already have a cordless vacuum, I think that that would be such a good gift without having to spend $500 on a Dyson for them. So I have it charging right now and I just want to go over a couple of pros and cons that I noticed with it. Like I said, probably one of the biggest cons is you're going to need to make sure it's charged every time before you use it because I would say the battery probably lasts like 45 minutes if that. Like had I had a full charge, it probably would have been about 45 minutes to an hour. But that's fine. If you're hanging it back up and charging it every single time, you shouldn't run into an issue, especially again, if your place isn't very big like ours. I think if I had had a full charge, I could have done the whole downstairs plus like the stairs and then maybe you would have had to charge to do the upstairs I don't know maybe not because again our place isn't very big it would have been pretty quick to go through all of that and truthfully when I was vacuuming right now I actually went over this main area in the living room twice so if I was only going over everything once I think one charge would be enough to vacuum the whole house plus the couch the other con that I noticed with it is that with the battery pack it is actually pretty heavy on your hand so I had to keep switching hands not a big deal to me personally like it's all good there's like 
worst things in life but I do think that that is a helpful thing to know if you're doing like research to buy a cordless vacuum and you're doing comparisons with each that is something to note is that it is heavy on your hand so your hand does get tired you do need to switch a lot but those are really my only cons with it otherwise I loved it I think it's a great value the suction is amazing I love the attachments I was able to get into like places that our Yeedy normally doesn't it's super super maneuverable like I could not believe how easy it was to maneuver it was so smooth over all the turns and bumps and everything in here I mean our carpet <laughs> is like three or four years old there's stains all over it i really would love to get just like a big rug to cover all of it up we are renting which is why we're just kind of like screw it we don't really care the landlord's gonna replace the carpet anyways someday when we move out so we're like whatever about it but we still obviously want to at least have it vacuumed because truthfully trevor is allergic to leo he was also allergic to pip and spartacus but he gets pretty used to them but still when like there's a buildup of their dander it gets him really bad so that definitely picked up way more than the yeedy does again i still love my robot vacuum i love my yeedy i would still definitely run it like three or four times a week but i would say like once or twice a week i would go in heavy duty with the homika vacuum and do like a deep clean with that and again I loved it it was so maneuverable it got everything I don't mind the battery life on it so I definitely would recommend it I just took a shower I'm just back in the PJs that I wore last night to decorate washed my hair finally it's been it's been a while <laughs> I'm gonna try out this hair wrap thing so what I was expecting though was kind of like similar to these the actual like turbans that have like a hood and stuff but this one's more like a flat rectangle but I will say this is way softer than any of the other ones that I have so that's kind of nice but I need to figure out okay so this loop needs to go on the back of my head how do I do this okay. yeah that hold together fist okay that was actually a lot easier than I for some reason thought it was gonna be and then pull it and then loop it through Oh, I like that it's pulling less on my hair. Like, I feel like those other ones go so tight that they kind of yank on my hair, but that feels really, really nice. And of course, your guys' battery is dying. We're back in business. But anyways, I kind of have the night to myself tonight. Trevor is out with our guy friends. They all decided to do a guy's night tonight, so I have the place to myself, and I want to do like a cozy holiday Friday night in. And Trevor and I have a running list every year of the holiday movies that we always like to watch, but on that list are also certain movies that are only for him or only for me. So, for example, for him, Die Hard, I'm sorry. That is not a Christmas movie, but like that's one of the ones for him. And then I have a few. I actually added some. I just saw Genie on Peacock. It was actually a lot cuter than I thought it was going to be. I did not have high expectations for that, and I actually ended up really liking it. So I'm going to add that to the holiday rotation. Not for this year because I just watched it, but it's definitely going to be on the list for me for next year, as well as the movie Xmas with Leighton Meester, Blair Waldorf, my favorite. Again, another Christmas movie that I did not go into with very high expectations, and I actually really loved it. So far last night we ended up watching the holiday that was the only one that was on our list that we didn't like actually want to sit down and watch that was actually available for streaming there was almost nothing available on our list for streaming last night i think a lot more came out because today is december 1st so i think we're gonna have a lot more choices from here on out but yeah we struck out with harold and kumar christmas bad moms 2 which is usually always on but trevor found that it's gonna be shown on tbs so he's recording it so we'll be able to watch it a little bit later and then i think we wanted to look at one other one and we ended up not being able to find it so we ended up on the holiday last night but as far as movies go that only I watch on my own like I really want to watch stepmom but I can't find that on any streaming services unless I pay for it like I'd have to rent it and I just I don't want to do that and yes I do mean the movie stepmom with Susan Sarandon and Julia Roberts from back in the day I love that movie so much it actually used to be my favorite movie ever which is like so weird because it's actually kind of a depressing movie but the other movies that I like really love that Trevor has like no interest in ever watching the Santa Claus the holiday I love the holiday with Kate Winslet and Cameron Diaz God, there's others there's like a ton we just have like different tastes in holiday movies I can stomach a higher level of corniness like there's a lot of really good classic ones on here but we like to try oh why him was the other one that we couldn't find usually that's on some streaming service every single year and I, we couldn't find it this year oh the Grinch is another one Ooh, what should I do tonight I feel like I want to go classic Christmas so either the Santa Claus or the Grinch? You know, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to put together Leo's food and then pop my pizza in the oven. I got my favorite pizza from Cherry Joe's to have tonight. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to think on it and try to decide between the Santa Claus or the Grinch for tonight's movie.
So while I'm waiting for my pizza to cook, I figured let's go ahead and do Leo's advent calendar for day three. You want your advent calendar? Okay. We'll see if we'll come over here for this. But advent calendar day three. Let's see what shape we get. Oh, it's just one. It's just a little square. Leo, yeah, do you want a treat? Oh. Okay. That's it. Pa. Yes. Good boy, good job. Oh, we like those, huh? I wonder if they actually like sell these salmon and sweet potato dog treats. I'm sure they do, I just haven't noticed them. You got, you got a few more. We're gonna double up on some days. Okay, oh my goodness, look at that piece of yours. I love you. Okay, go back to your pizza toy. You're good, <laughs> you're good. That's it, no more. I know the other one, I know the last couple of days had two. This one just had one, okay? I'm sorry. Do you want your yogi pot? Mm. Oh, okay, let's get your yogi pot. Leave it. Uh uh. Release! Good boy! Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Do you guys see this? Okay, I'm just gonna put it down. <laughs> this is hot. I turned the broiler on the last couple minutes just to make sure that the crust was nice and golden. Perfect. Should I do cookies? I mean, the oven's already hot. Yes, because I wanted wine tonight, but Trevor finished all of our wine. So, I'll give myself cookies. Like I can't touch the pan because it's hot still. I got these Toll House mini chocolate chip cookies a little while back and I love this. I can make myself like two to four, kind of depends on how I'm feeling that night and it feels like a lot. And I think I'm gonna do four tonight because I'm having a nice night in, you know? Do four, oh gosh, that one lost half of itself. Perfect. Let's see if I can cut this. Oh, <laughs> I am not cutting it in a straight line at all. That's okay. There we go. And the movie that I settled on for tonight is going to be The Santa Claus. But I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm already behind <laughs> as far as like filming and editing Vlogmas goes. So I'm just going to be editing for the rest of the night while watching this and eating my pizza and my cookies. So I hope that you guys enjoyed unboxing my first TikTok shop haul with me. I know I really enjoyed it. And I hope that if you guys were interested in any of the products that I actually tried out and gave little mini reviews on, I hope that that was helpful. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my little holiday themed night to myself. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4.